Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This is Michael Waltrip's 2004 Father's Day Chevy Silver Silverado. <laughs> Uh, Napa Chevy. Uh, this is the first of the 04 banks I think I've ever had. I don't think I've had this new of a car that's still a bank. I think this might have been the last year they did it. Thank goodness. I'm sorry. Banks are dumb. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the box. Uh, you can see right here we got the sleeve for the box. It's just Happy Father's Day. You can see the Napa Chevy there, and then they actually honor the father. You can see Leroy Waltrip on the opposite name rail. Some of them use the same name rail. Uh, others did it on one versus the other. It, it just depends on how they chose to do the paint scheme. But you see it's a Platinum Series Bank. Thank goodness I got rid of them. Nope, they are so useless. Um, anyway, you can see one of 324, so not that many of the banks out there. Uh, maybe people collect banks, but other than that, they're not actually useful as a bank, like... Anyway, we'll get into that later, but uh, yeah, so that's our box. Uh, looks pretty good. Very, very good condition uh, considering it came out of the, the pawn shop, but let's go ahead and take a look. Down on the left side, you can see we've got our Napa blue, the nice, deep, metallic blue. What a wonderful color. Uh, then you got the number 15, uh, leaning forward there like it should. All the DEI cars had that. Got Napa Auto Parts, Domino's, Oreos, Martin Senior Paints. I don't I have no idea. Best Western. Uh, up here, we got Coca-Cola, Napa, Champion, and I can't read that last one. DEI, Michael Walter up there on the name rail. Nexo Cup Series and then the other contingency sponsors there. But you can see it was a very, it was the 04, which was the, I believe this, the second to last year, Michael being at DEI. But it is this the best, hmm, roof flaps deploying on an 04. Now that is interesting. It's a bank, but the roof flaps deploy. I'm very curious now. Anyway, so the roof flaps do deploy. It is an 04 uh, by all accounts that I can see. There's nothing that makes me think this is an 05. It is under an 04 mold, so very interesting. Uh, if you've never had a bank, it does come with a key, and there's the opening. Um, there you can get your, your change out of if you ever actually put change in these things. Uh, again, to me, very, very poor decision for a bank. I mean, they're, if you're collecting like a whole group of banks, then it's one thing. We'll get into that later, but uh, let's go to the rest of the paint scheme first. Uh, you can see it says Napa Auto Parts. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Happy Father's Day. Leroy Waltrip on the right side. Same as the left. You can see we already got our nice Napa blue. Come on, Chase. Make this a paint scheme, dude. This would look so good. Um, Leroy Waltrip up there on the name rail, all white, so it's very noticeable. I think that's a really cool gesture. On to the front, you can see we got our money collar front end, black valence, Napa blue all over the rest of the nose chrome grill plate down at the bottom and then big napa auto parts on the hood let's go ahead and pop that hood open and see what's inside i think there might be an engine sometimes there's one in there just kidding it's always in there but anyway inside you can see the engine uh, it's not super good i mean definitely the 07 had better detail but uh silver valve covers uh, red engine block and the silver air filter container obviously radiator and other stuff in there but nothing super crazy um <clears throat> Now, I will say the one thing about the bank, oh, rubber window net, so that's another thing, but uh, the one thing about these banks is, again, they're very useless as an actual bank, like, what, what? there's no point in putting anything in these things, they're so small, it's a pain to get anything out of them, uh, but I will say, if you're collecting, like, just banks, and they were such a small quantity, then I can see the draw to them, just from the sheer quantities, but, I mean, this slot in the rear window always seems kind of silly to me, plus, on top of that, like I said, it's a very poor functioning bank at that. So just one of those kind of goofy things that I never really understood why people would buy the bank versus the other one. Frankly, all I've seen is the clear window bank just masks and makes people make mistakes on eBay where they're like, oh, I want this car. And then they look like, oh, never mind. I don't want this. So, uh, you know, I'll never understand it. If you do like the banks or were, um, <clears throat> were a collector of the banks, please do let me know in the comments why so I can try to understand because I just I don't get it. But um, I, I fully respect anyone that maybe has a reason of their own that they did collect them. It's just definitely not something I think I would have ever been into. But uh, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. If you have enjoyed, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more diecast content. Make sure you turn on the bell. Uh, I've got more videos coming out all weekend long. It's going to be just diecast reviews going nuts this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, while I'm down in Kansas. So I don't have to pay attention, but you guys still get plenty of content. So uh, other than that, this has been Race Grace. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.